How's it going guys, Sherblox here. In today's Roblox vid, I want to show you guys how to get glitched Robux accessories for free. Now, I just want to make this very clear at the start of this video. Currently, at this point in time, there are no items that are currently glitched. Well, as far as I'm aware of, there could be a few hidden on the avatar shop. I tried to find some, but I didn't notice any. However, Roblox do tend to make this glitched Roblox item mistake fairly often, especially when a new music artist joins Roblox and all of their accessories are put on sale, a lot of the time that their accessories end up breaking. Now I know what you're thinking, what the heck am I talking about? Explaining this situation with words is kind of difficult. So let me go over to the avatar shop so I can show you guys exactly what I mean. Right guys, so I'm over on the Roblox avatar shop. I'm on recently updated. This page right here though was actually a page from yesterday. Currently Roblox have actually fixed this glitch, but I just want to show you guys how it works basically for next time. If this ever happens again when a musical artist joins Roblox, or maybe it happens with some other items as well. I want to show you guys what these broken items look like, and I want to show you how to get them for free. So for an example, this happened yesterday with all of the George Ezra items, and take a look at this guys. Some of them are on sale for Robux, some of them say off sale, and some of them are very very glitched. It doesn't say on sale, it doesn't say off sale, it actually says nothing, just the item name and then when it was updated. Well, if you guys happen to actually click on one of these items, it will end up looking just like this. So using the Lily Aura for an example, as you guys can see, the item works. Like the accessory itself is perfectly fine. Just the price and the buy button is completely broken. For the price, it's zero Robux. It has a Robux logo and that's it. No price amount or anything. And like I was saying, if I try and buy this, it doesn't work. But technically guys, the item is not off sale. It's not on sale. It's not off sale either. It's actually glitched. And if you ever see a Robux Robux accessory that looks like this, it's actually 100% free, and yeah, I'm not joking. Let me show you guys how to get them. Big shout out to Lucas over on Twitter for letting me know about this. Now, I have actually seen this happen before. I'm pretty sure it happens with the Tate McRae items, but when it happened last time, I had no idea how it worked. Like, I had no idea we could get them for free. Anyway, he said, good one, Roblox. We can see here the Lily Aura was updated and fixed and set to 250, but also in this screenshot, he purchased a load of items for zero. Robux. And this stuff is pretty decent. Like for free, this stuff is very good. And I asked the guy, I said, how did you do it? Did you just buy one and all of them were awarded? Well, it turns out guys, that's not actually the case. Lucas explained here, when they were first uploaded, they were off sale. But when I went to the Roblox app, they were marked as free and I was able to buy them. The page for the item even said it was off sale, but still had the Robux icon, like I just showed you guys. They already fixed it though, just very strange. And yeah, like I was saying, Roblox have done this in the past as well. This isn't like the very first time that Roblox have done this glitch. So Lucas was saying he got them on the Roblox app, so I'm getting like the desktop app or the mobile app. Anyway, Spencer here said you can get them a different way as well. He said you can do a glitch inside of those catalog tester games. And yeah, by the looks of it, he did the same thing. He got all of this stuff for zero Robux. That is insane. And yeah, Ketchup clarified this as well. He said you can get them for free by buying them from the in-game item buyer thing. So unfortunately, guys, if I just go to view all items recently updated then if I go to Roblox and show unavailable items Roblox did actually update this and fix it so yeah you can now see they're all priced like random Robux amounts but let me show you guys how to do this just in case it happens again because honestly I bet it will so you want to find one of the items now you want to go up to the items ID and you actually want to right click this and then click on copy then you want to play one of those item buyer games now I actually made my own one I made this like a few years ago I think I have a video over on my channel showing you guys how to make them. You could also use a public one like Catalog Avatar Creator. I guess that would work. I'll link both versions down below. But yeah, if I go ahead and play my game, I'll show you guys what I mean. So here on my own game, guys, what I would actually do is paste the ID in here, then press enter on my keyboard, and it's going to come up saying, would I like to buy it for Robux? Previously, last night, this would have said, would you like to buy it for free? And yeah, basically that's how it works. If you ever see a glitched Robux item, make sure to buy it using one of these catalog games. It's exactly the same thing on one of those public catalog item buys as well. If you go to the catalog, featured, and then if I go and paste in my link, if I go and press enter, as you can see, I could buy it, I could try it on. Like I said, this time I was too late, Roblox fixed it. But I bet guys, next time a random music artist joins Roblox, there's like a 90% chance some of their accessories could be broken. Like I said, I have seen this happen before. So there we go guys, if you ever see a glitched Roblox item that has a Robux logo and a disabled 
buy button, make sure to buy it inside of one of those games and the item will actually be given to your account for free. If you guys enjoyed this video, as always, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.